So this wheel in front of me can turn this big ship to the right or to the left. But how this soft wheel that I can turn only by one finger to the right or to the left can turn the big ships in the maritime industry. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Mustafa and I'm a ship's captain. This is the first video that I'm recording on board my ship. In today's video, we'll talk about how the ships turn to the right or to the left. But we don't say right side or left side in the shipping industry. We say instead starboard side or port side for everything to the left side. In the past, they were turning the ship mechanically. So you need a big, muscly sailor stand him in front of a big wheel and he will turn the wheel this wheel was connected to pulleys and levers and these pulleys and levers were turning the rudder. Nowadays the ships are bigger and it is impossible for a single person or even many people to adjust a rudder of several tons using pulleys and levers. The system became sophisticated when you can easily turn the ship using soft wheels or soft tillers. To better understand the system, let's divide it in three components. The operator, the controller, and the body. The operator here on the bridge. The controller in the steering gear, which will go shortly, and the body is outside the ship, where is the rudder installed. These three components are the same for the car. You have the steering wheel, which turns the wheels, and the wheels turn the car. Same on board ships. When you turn this wheel, it sends electric signal to a motors and these motors turn the rudder and the rudder turns the ship. But the ship doesn't turn like the car. The car turns front side first. The ship turns aft side first. Just consider it like the forklift. The forklift has the turning wheels in the aft side. So when it starts turning, it turns the aft side first and then the front side will follow the aft side. Side. Yeah, it's a bit complicated, but I will explain how it works on board ships. Why the ship turns outside first, then front side first? So, as I explained, everything to the right side is starboard side. Everything to the left side is the port side. We have this ship. And the rudder. So when the indication is midship, the rudder is midship and there is no pressure applied on the rudder. If the rudder turns to starboard side, then water pressure will be applied on the rudder, pushing the outside of the ship away, which causes the ship to turn outside first and then the front side will follow. Same for port side. If you order 30 degrees to port side, the rudder will turn 30 degrees to port side, applying more water pressure on the rudder which push the outside of the ship away and then causing the ship to turn outside first and then the front side will follow. So we divide the previously the ship steering gear in three components. We set the operator, which is the bridge. Let's see the bridge now. So we have this soft wheel and we can turn the ship with a tiller and more, we can turn it from here as well. So now let's go to the second component, which is the controller. I will not take the elevator, but instead we'll take the stairways and I will show you how far it is from the operator. Let's go. Let's go first, change the outfit, put some safety equipment and then we can proceed.
front of the steering gear, which is the controller. This controller takes the electric signal from the bridge, which is the operator, and turns the rudder, and the rudder turns the ship. I will show you how it works. So the modern steering gear are electro-hydraulic. They use electric motors to pump the oil in order to turn the steering gear. We have here the electric motor. So the electric motors pressurize these hydraulic chambers, and this hydraulic chamber push this ram. As you can see here, the ram is pushed either from the other chamber or from this chamber. And this ram is connected to this cylinder, and this cylinder is in between this pillar, which is in fork shape. So this pillar actually turns the stock of the rudder. So this is the stock of the rudder and is going all the way down to the rudder beneath this area. Outside the ship, where it is located, the third component of the steering gear, which is the rudder. So the rudder is connected to the controller. When the bridge asks the controller with electric signal, let's say 10 degrees to starboard side, the controller turns the rudder 10 degrees to starboard side, and the rudder it will turn the ship to the right side or the starboard side. 